Now, I was just wrapping up for the day and I just happened to take a quick look at the Facebook group for Elemental and noticed that Verdi had posted a new feature that's been added into Elemental and Elemental Pro. And that's a new set of design kits that we can use as wireframes to start off with various different types of designs. So I thought I'd quickly put a video together to show you what's included, how you get to it and how you start using it. So. I've already updated everything. I'm using the developer's version of Elementor, so don't worry about that, but this is pretty much gonna be exactly the same. So once you log into your dashboard, if you go into the option for templates, inside there, we've got our kit library. Let's open that up. And inside of a kit library, you can't help but notice there's a new set of wireframe designs right at the top. So let's just filter these down just to see the wireframes. And you can see what looks like about close to about 10 different wireframes. And you may think, well, there's not a lot inside there, but there's a little bit more hidden away. These are kind of broken down into different types of collections, different kinds of kits. So for example, you've got a local workshop, you've got things like local services, blogs, portfolios, those kinds of things. And inside there, you've got more options. So let's just take this, for example, this blog wireframe. We can view a demo, and that will then load in an entire design for a particular page. In this example, it's the home page. And as you can see, it is literally just a wireframe, placeholders for text, for links, for things like that. And it's a good starting point. You've got none of those visual distractions. Like I say, you know I'm a big fan of wireframes. I think they can help speed up the process by taking away the visual clutter and just helps you design things quicker and easier. And this is a good starting point. So there's a ton of options. Let's get rid of this little pop-up, which is included as part of this particular kit. So we'll just close that down. So you can see all the different options are inside you. You could then go ahead and just start styling this, apply your global styles to it, all the things you wanna do and flesh this out, take away the bits you don't want, duplicate the bits you do and so on. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And you can apply this kit if you want to by clicking the apply kit uh, link in the top corner. However, if we click on overview, and this is kind of a little bit weird, if you don't know this is there, you may just think, well, it's just one design. If we open up the overview, you can now see all of the different components that make up this particular style kit. So we've got home, about, and contact. You've got site parts, which are your sort of templates. You've even got a subscription pop-up, which we just seen. You can see there's a bit of information about this particular blog wireframe. You can favorite this if you wanted to quickly get back to it. You can see what's inside. So there's three pages, six site parts, and one pop-up. And that's just one of the options. You can click in any of these and take a look at them and you know do all those kinds of things. Let's go back to our library, and this time, let's take a look at something like the portfolio. Let's open that up. Again, that will start off by showing you the homepage, at which point you can just go in and make your changes to this and do all those kinds of things. Let's open up the overview again, and you can see inside here, there's only four parts of this, and these are pages, not component sections. So really easy to get started. And all you need to do is, you can view a demo of any of these, or you can select the page again, and then we can just say, apply that kit. We'll say apply all. That's now gonna go ahead and apply this through your site. And filter enable, yep, we'll say enable that. So this is now gonna load in all the component pieces, give us that wireframe to start off with, and then we can go ahead and start to customize this and do what we want with it. So you can see now your kit is now live on your site. So this kit includes global colors, fonts, typography, buttons, and so on, four pages. Now we can go ahead and go back to our dashboard. And now what we can do is we can just close this down. So we'll just exit out of this. And you can see if we go to our pages, there's the four pages that we've just inserted as part of this style kit. So now what we can do is we can just go into the home page, for example, we'll start editing this with Elementor. You can see there's our wireframe design, and now we can just go ahead and start fleshing this out. So we can just go ahead, select anything inside here, and start changing things. So for example, if we select our hero section at the top, we can then go ahead, go into our style section, and just start adding things like our images and things like that in there. So we'll just choose this one as a starting point, insert that inside there, and boom, we've now started to create our own custom look and feel. We can just come in there into things like your background overlay and so on, and just start customizing this, using this as the starting point for our whole design process. We'll set that color inside there, and again, you can kind of come into your typography and so on. We can just go ahead and set the colors on this. We'll use our global colors, which have been pulled in as part of this overall design. Same with the sort of subsection, we can come into there, change our colors. You can see how easy it is. And we've got this full page design. We can now just go ahead and just pull all the bits and pieces in, delete something we don't want, 
Simple as that. So that's a nice new addition that's been brought to Elemental and Elemental Pro. There's a couple of Pro based templates which probably have more features inside them. But the wireframe side of things is a great starting point if you want to work with clients, get a rough idea for yourself or just have some inspiration that doesn't have all the visual clutter that a lot of the pre-built templates already do. As always, links in the description below. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this, let me know in the comment section. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts and until next time. Take care.